Hello there, my name is Michael and I am a software developer. In this video here, I will be showcasing the Jumia clone app. This is a project I did cloning Jumia clone, uh, cloning Jumia website. Now Jumia is in a nutshell the Amazon of Africa. I may call it that as an Amazon of Africa. It's an online shopping company that deals with the, uh, shopping online. Okay, uh, it's a target, it's target group is in Africa. All right then, now with this clone, what I could do is you can do, uh, actually if I show you the layout, you can see the layout, the search bar is up, the logos are up, you can see here as we keep scrolling, the items are down in the categories. As we scroll down to sports computing to the uh, to the footer, now you can click here and view category as per the supermarket. Okay, you can click phone tablets, phone and tablets, and view as per phone and tablets in the footer up to computing. In the search, you can search for phones. I could type phone, and yeah. You have a view of phone, all the phones in the categories in this list. You can uh, search for let's go to milk. Ah, you can view milk there. You can also, in case you search something that isn't in the inventory or in the store, for instance, I could type car. I'm sure there's no car there. Yeah, you can see an error message saying, please search by brand name or product type. Otherwise, we don't have a product such as car. Now, we could, now we can also go and click items here. Oh, just so you know, uh, this project was built using React, okay? And in React, I was ut utilizing what they call the context API to handle global state. To handle a global state uh, the global state only G, the purpose for that for this global state is to deal with the, with this information of the cart so that information that you click here can go directly to the cart okay as you can see the number is increasing to 10 to 11. and let's have a look at this context API in action i'll click cart i'll click sugar milk and soda. I'm sure that's not a healthy diet, but let's see what the cart has to offer us. Boom. As you can see, we have three items in the cart the sugar, the milk, and the soda. If I want to remove sugar, perhaps that's too much sugar, that's too much milk. I need more sugar. Ah, I have soda and sugar. I don't know if I, add, I don't know if I'll be mixing the sugar and the soda together, but yeah. as you can see, it keeps removing what I removed. Meanwhile, showing the total over here, the currency I'm using is GGX, that's the currency for Uganda. When you check out, of course, it will show a model. I, in the app, in the development of this clone, I didn't go further into that. All right, there you have it. A Jumia clone using React, implementing, uh, utilizing Context API, as you can view here. In the description, I will include a GitHub repository, a link to the GitHub repository of this project, and also a link to the to the yeah to the web link of this application. The application, just so you know, I've hosted it, I've hosted it on Firebase. And yes, and as for that, thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll meet again next time. Thank you.